Hi guys, it's Magali and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the second episode of Making My House a Home, a series in which I show you how I set up my new place even though I moved quite a long time ago now. This is going to be all about setting up my parents' bedroom in particular. I had a really great time just furnishing this empty room and I made a long video about it because I found a lot of joy in the process. So hopefully you guys will find this video just calm and fun to watch as well. But if you would only like to skip to a specific section, feel free to do so because I do have timestamps listed in the description bar and everything that you see on screen like what furniture I'm using, where I got it from, all of that, it'll also be in the description. So do check that out if you would like. So the first part of this video is just me cleaning the room and this was not the initial cleaning because the room was a little bit dustier. It had been unoccupied for a while and then obviously like painting was also done. The painters cleaned it up a little bit but there was still a layer of like dust and paint residue that we had already cleaned the previous day but I figured I should just you know carefully clean the room again and it is so fun to clean a room when it's empty like there's no furniture anywhere except for the two cupboards uh, so you can just get it very clean once you actually put stuff in then it becomes a little bit annoying and frustrating to clean and I wanted to do this whole like room setup by myself as much as possible even though my parents were there I ended up taking like both of my parents help later on for little things that I couldn't manage on my own but as much as I could I wanted to do this on my own so to give you guys a little bit of background I actually moved to Goa last year from Mumbai and I'm living in my parents home but no one was living here for some time so we didn't really have a lot of furniture or anything and it was fully my decision to move i was kind of ready to try something different with my life just a change would feel nice and live a little bit more independently and while i could say i have achieved that kind of i didn't really do this on my own and i couldn't really do this without my parents who were with me the whole way and were very supportive of the move and also really financially helpful so for the first couple of months i think uh, we were mostly staying in the living room downstairs because there was a really nice sofa bed that we could use but then i really wanted to set up my parents bedroom first and they didn't really have any demands you'll notice the two metal cupboards or almiras in the room uh, they are actually the old almiras that we had when we bought the house we bought them they took the old ones so that I could have all new furniture. They didn't want this room to have extra flair. They just wanted it to be really basic with a bed. Uh, but I wanted to add some more touches that would be comfortable and useful for them during their stay here. Now for a really quick ad break. This is me reminding you guys that I do offer memberships on this YouTube channel. And if you're not sure what that is, you will see the join button next to the subscribe button. That is an optional way for you to support me directly as a creator. I have three tiers of membership available and if you sign up, it is a recurring monthly payment, but you can leave at absolutely any time. So you do if you join, but you also get some perks. For my second and third tier from this month onwards, I am offering a handwritten postcard or a card so for the month of january i bought these beautiful cards of mario miranda he's one of my favorite artists and someone that really epitomizes goa for me so there are some common perks that all three membership tiers get but if you join on the middle or the higher membership tier you'll get one of these cards in the mail this month and i cannot wait to actually find more cute picture postcards or print my own and send them to you guys month after month i love receiving snail mail and postcards from my friends uh, so i was like why not spread a little bit of that joy and you know post something it's been so long since i've sent something out at the post office but one of the main reasons i'm pushing memberships right now is because since i moved to goa I wanted to make longer vlogs like this alongside my usual fashion and beauty content 
but these kind of videos take a lot of time firstly to you know film produce them and then to actually edit them and i really do not want to outsource editing or anything because i want these to be fully made by me and if i got someone else involved i just don't think it would feel the same but because of the amount of time it takes to put one of these out i've not been as regular as i like and if i have a larger number of members i might be able to do more of these more often and i think that would be absolutely fabulous so whether or not you choose to join thank you for watching this video thank you for listening and now back to the actual content on day 2 i started building furniture and the first thing i did was build a little desk so i wanted a basic desk with a clean mostly white look and i got this one off of amazon after doing a ton of reviews it's available in a few sizes but after taking measurements i realized that the smaller size is probably better because i had to fit a queen size bed into the room also so this is the smaller size which was quite easy to assemble the desk was not too expensive also and the build quality is decent all of these desks actually have like hex keys now so you don't need any additional tools also like i have too many tools but i know that everybody does not own a full toolbox so it's easy to do these assemblies with everything included it really did not take much time but i enjoy assembling things even complicated ones if you do not enjoy doing that you can obviously call somebody to get it done that is entirely your choice this got done quite quickly and i was able to put it in place and my cats were with me throughout the entire process you're going to see all of them in this video because they kept walking in and out of the room and checking out what i was doing after i had the desk in place i was able to move on to building the bed something that intimidated me i've never put a bed together before I was excited and a little anxious to get started with it this bed is from ikea by the way i know they do not deliver their furniture throughout india they do not deliver to goa but i had this delivered to me in mumbai and then i brought it in its unassembled state like to goa or is it disassembled like it basically i brought it back and you know now i'm assembling it for the first time i like the design of this clapstad bed it was something simple and clean and it was not too hard to put together like it did take me 2 days but you know for larger furniture of ikea they say that you need two people the manual always shows two people and i did it alone so you know i'm proud of that first i put together like the headboard area at the back and this has this like fun cloth headboard and you'll see me referring to the manual a lot just because there's usually a correct order of doing things and a correct direction of you know placing every piece and if you make a mistake then you'll usually end up suffering later on this is the main bed frame that i'm assembling and i did end up making one mistake with putting a piece in the wrong direction and i realized it later on and then i had to you know disassemble it partially fix that mistake and reassemble it which i lost a good one and a half two hours with just that mistake so it happens you know after that i attached the headboard to the rest of the bed frame this step is a little difficult to do on your own and that's why when i actually got it done i was super excited and i did this like stupid little happy or triumphant dance <laughs> it's so bad i know but i'm keeping it in because i experienced a lot of joy in this moment and after the main outside frame was put together then i had to go in with putting in this it's called the mid beam and this gives support to your mattress like you put it exactly at the center of the bed and this is a queen size bed by the way so there are larger double beds also available king size there are smaller ones available and then i'm moving on to the next day still building furniture mom is helping me with this part because i wanted to put this wall shelf on and i had just learned to use a drill but i was still a little bit 
nervous with using a drill, you know. Because what if I mess up? So I wanted another set of hands and another set of eyes. But I think I did okay, you know. It's a very empowering feeling to be able to wield a drill for some reason. And drilling into concrete is not super easy. So when I actually did it, I was excited. I definitely will be able to install my own wall shelving and my own frames, whatever the future. This shelf is also from IKEA, but since it's one of their smaller furniture pieces, you should be able to find it on Amazon also. Like Amazon pricing of IKEA stuff is a little higher than IKEA's own pricing. But seeing as how like you can get your hands on IKEA stuff if you don't live in a place that they deliver, then that's actually a good thing like this next thing i'm building it is also from ikea but i did not bring it with me from mumbai i realized i wanted it later so i ordered this piece off of amazon and i was quite happy with it so this is a tiny little drawer unit i actually bought it for myself at first and then i was like hey it'll fit in my parents bedroom perfectly and it will be some extra storage for you know small stuff that you need or computer related stuff so i decided to build it for their room and i think it was a good decision because my father is obsessed with this little drawer unit and he keeps a lot of his knickknacks and extra stuff there it's very lightweight so definitely don't buy this if you want to keep like really heavy things or anything but it suits my purpose perfectly Now for the other side of the bed, I'm putting together this small and inexpensive but very very sturdy bedside table also from IKEA. This was very affordable also and I would definitely recommend it. I think it's available in a couple of different colors. Bedside table is one of those slightly bougie things that I guess we've never had before. Like we have a nice house in Mumbai but flats in Mumbai like are still a little bit smaller and with having to fit a lot of the functional furniture in like fit a computer table and all of that like we never had the excess space for bedside tables but now that both sides kind of have you know beside the bed storage it's just useful to keep the things you need to have at hand and it felt nice to be able to build these so after that i cleaned once again because the room was still somewhat empty and i knew that once i put the mattress in I would not feel like cleaning as much. This bed comes with this removable like headboard cloth cover which I thought was quite interesting. Uh, I don't think you can buy an additional one though so I wish IKEA sold one so you know we could change it out and wash it nicely but you might be able to get one of these made by your local like upholstery guy or something like that. So we've used this IKEA bed for a few months. I'm actually generally quite happy with the quality of it. Now IKEA makes furniture and a ton of materials and I definitely prefer their metal furniture as opposed to like engineered wood because that engineered wood stuff is cheaper but the quality is just not there. They do have some hardwood furniture that's on the more expensive side but when I'm shopping from IKEA I always look at the materials used and this is me and my dad I needed his help to haul the mattress up the staircase because I was very particular with choosing a mattress and I ended up getting a pocket spring mattress which I love because I did so much of research before buying it and this is from the brand Sleepy Cat you might have seen that you know I worked with them for my room but I purchased this from them with my own money before I worked with them 
I was really excited to work with a brand that I had already loved and spent money on. My mattress is a different one and it's also nice it just was not this heavy. So I really struggled with this the initial setup and it did drain like quite a bit of my energy but it is really fascinating to see how they fit a queen size mattress into such a compact package and once you open it it actually opens up in a few hours since this was a spring mattress i could hear the springs popping that was interesting is it mom it's nice it's firm but also bouncy yeah springy you can feel the springs no they were like so compressed in the beginning and then when i opened it up you could hear them pop i also bought a mattress protector obviously because you will not see me not use one of these and it was a really good decision like it protects your mattress from spills and just general allergens and stuff and then a few weeks after this i think one of my cats peed on the bed which you know my cats are generally very clean i do not blame them this is not the culprit by the way this is tiny she did not pee the bed um, but if you have pets accidents might happen at any time and we were able to keep the place completely clean cuz we had a mattress protector if you have a nice mattress do not skip getting one of those and then we put this bed sheet on which turned out to be a little bit small but you know don't worry because we changed it later on we had to lie down on the mattress to test it out and also because we were so exhausted from handling the mattress that's my mum by the way and then i also added a few more small details like i added this wall hook so we could hang a calendar up and also these s shaped hooks so that my dad could hang miscellaneous light stuff from the wall shelf he also really loves using these And now we are at the last part where I wanted to show you the finished room. The thing is, I didn't really want to show it to you guys as soon as it was all done because I feel like most room tours are like that. They are beautiful, but they always have these like very staged rooms that obviously just they don't resonate with me. I don't know. I wanted this room to look lived in before I filmed the last part, so I actually filmed it a couple of months after. you know decorating the room and i did a little upgrade also at this time so we changed the mattress protector changed the sheet and then i bought my parents these fancy wedge pillows <laughs> which they're supposed to be kind of more comfortable in some ways than regular pillows and just better for your health so i got two different heights so for my parents it's nice and comfortable Now can you demonstrate for us how you would like recline Is it good for reclining? I think so but I'm not really fond of this position. Dad is going to love this. Yeah, dad loves. I he, don't like. It. He's going to sit like this and fall asleep. That's his favorite thing in the Then world. Then I'll beat him up and <laughs> tell him to sleep properly. <laughs> and here it is now at this point the proper finished room tour where my parents spend more of their time chilling i guess when they are home there's the little computer table there's the bed there are the two almiras that i didn't do anything with them they are just there and there's this clothes hanger out in the balcony i filmed this on a very rainy day and so that's why the room looks kind of gloomy but i like the vibe I was like why not you know I really like monsoon in Goa it has its faults it has its issues but it's also like a very dreamy time and I have net on the windows obviously I forgot to mention this at the start but if you have cats please net your windows but yeah this is me putting up the pico calendar from 2023 I filmed this in October so it a long time has passed since then and after this the ceiling fan actually stopped working it was an old fan so that's fine and that's why I lent my parents this pedestal fan I bought it's a little noisy but it works well and here's Thelma he really wanted to be in this part of the video he just jumped there 2023 is done now and this is me taking down christmas decorations and this cute pico shop calendar also and i put up 
this new Pico Shop calendar because I'm obsessed with Pico Shop. All in all, I think it was a really good year just because a lot of change happened. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's chat in the comments.